in last video we have discussed about experimental arrangement of newton's rings in today's video i am going to discuss about theory of newton's rings that is here we are going to write condition for bright and dark fringe in case of newton's rings okay here to extend theory of newton's ring i'm going to consider a experimental arrangement that is a plano convex lens and a glass plate and here a thin wedge shaped air film is formed and it is having refractive index mu is equals to 1 for air and also it is having a thickness t thickness t for air film and one more thing let us suppose let us suppose a light ray m p incident on the lower surface of the plano convex lens then some part of it gets reflected and i am going to denote it by p n and some part of it gets transmitted that is p q and when this p q incident on plane glass plate then some part of it gets reflected and i am going to denote it by q r and some part of it gets transmitted but here we are going to write condition for bright and dark fringe in case of reflected light that's why i'm only going to draw reflected lights here the light wave mp incident on glass medium to the air medium so here we are going to observe there is no phase change but here the light wave incident from air medium to the glass medium so here we are going to observe a phase change of pi or we can say path difference of lambda by 2 this light wave is having this reflected light wave is having path difference of lambda by 2 as compared to the the reflected light pn here pn and qr are the two reflected light waves and these two reflected light waves they interfere each other and form a interference pattern okay now we have already discussed about path difference of the reflected light now i am going to consider that formula here okay. let t be the thickness of the thin air film and mu be the refractive index of the air then let us write the optical path difference the optical path difference for reflected rays pn and qr pn and qr is given by I'm going to take optical path difference as a delta which is equals to 2 mu t cos r here thin film is formed by air so its refractive index is, is equals to 1 so if you substitute mu is equals to 1 and here we are going to consider a normal incidence then the angle of refraction r is equals to 0 and if you substitute these two values in the above equation then we are going to get delta is equals to that is path difference is equals to 2 mu is equals to 1 t cos 0 is equals to 1 here cos 0 is equals to 1 so this equation becomes optical path difference is equals to 2t and let us call this equation as 1 here the light wave 
QR gets reflected from the optically denser medium and hence we introduce path difference of lambda by path difference of lambda by 2 to this equation then optical path difference becomes that is true optical path difference is equals to 2t minus lambda by 2 because here there is a path difference of lambda by 2 that's why we are going to introduce lambda by 2 here okay here the plano convex lens here we can see that here we can observe that this plano convex lens is a section of circle that is if you draw a circle then we can see that it is the center of the circle and this plano convex lens is the some part of this circle and here let us represent these points I am going to take it as a origin O and this point as a D and this point as a C. This is the A, B, C. A, B, C is the plano convex lens and O is the origin and here I am going to represent this point by E. And here this distance is given by R that is radius of the circle and this distance is given by the diameter D okay and it is the thickness t here let us replace this 2t by diameter d for this i am going to use this figure and from this figure we can write ad into db is equals to CD into DE CD into DE both are diameters and here in place of DE we can write it as a keep CD as it is in place of DE I am going to write minus CD in place of EC let us write here EC is equals to 2 times R. So I am going to write EC by 2 times R minus CD. Okay, now let us multiply CD here. Then we are going to get CD into 2 times R minus CD whole square. Here from this figure here from this figure we can observe that CD is nothing but a thickness so let us replace CD by T in the below equation then we are going to get T into 2R minus T square this is AD into DB here in this equation thickness is very small that is CD is very small so here T square is negligible so we are going to neglect T square in the above equation then we are going to get 2 times T into R and here AD and db can be replaced by here we can write it as a d by 2 that is diameter by 2 and this can be written as a db can be written as a d by 2 so here we can write it as a d by 2 and d by 2 or we can replace it as a d square by 4 is equals to 2tr or we can write it as a 2t is equals to d square divided by 4 times r and let us represent this equation by 2 
okay now let us substitute 2t value in the optical path difference equation then we are going to get optical path or path difference is equal to d square divided by 4r minus lambda by 2 this is the optical path difference equation okay let us denote this equation by 3 now for for bright rings that is for condition for bright rings the optical path difference path difference is equal to n lambda this is the path difference for the bright rings and let us substitute this path difference value in this equation then we are going to get t square by 4r minus lambda by 2 is equals to n lambda or we can write it as a d square by 4r is equals to n lambda plus lambda by 2 or we can write it as a 2n plus 1 that is 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 or we can write it as a diameter d is equals to 4 times r into 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 into square root this is the diameter for bright fringes and here r and lambda are constant r and lambda are constant and here the diameter diameter of the bright rings of the bright rings are proportional to proportional to the square root the square roots of the natural odd numbers this is for bright rings okay now let us write diameter for the dark fringe that is second one is for for the dark rings for the dark rings for the dark rings path difference is equals to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 let us substitute path difference value from equation 3 then we are going to get d square by 4r minus lambda by 2 is equals to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 or we can write it as a d square into 4r is equals to 2n lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 here 2 2 gets cancelled it becomes n lambda plus lambda it can be written as n plus 1 into lambda here m plus 1 is a integer so we can replace it by here n plus 1 is a integer so we can replace it by n so this equation becomes t square by 4r is equals to n lambda or we can write diameter d is equals to square root of 4 times r into n lambda and hence here and hence the diameter of the 
dark rings are proportional to proportional to the square root square roots of the natural numbers here this equation gives diameter for the dark rings and here this equation gives diameter for the bright rings okay this is all about theory of the newton's ring